The 10 Best Ways to Burn Fat Fast Whether you're looking to improve your overall health or simply slim down for summer, burning off excess fat can be quite challenging. In addition to diet and exercise, numerous other factors can influence weight and fat loss. Luckily, there are plenty of simple steps you can take to increase fat burning, quickly and easily. Here are 10 of the best ways to burn fat quickly and promote weight loss. 1. Start strength training. Strength training is a type of exercise that requires you to contract your muscles against resistance. It builds muscle mass and increases strength. Most commonly, strength training involves lifting weights to gain muscle over time. Research has found strength training to have multiple health benefits, especially when it comes to burning fat. In one study, strength training reduced visceral fat in 78 people with metabolic syndrome. Visceral fat is a type of dangerous fat that surrounds the organs in the belly. Another study showed that 12 weeks of strength training paired with aerobic exercise was more effective at reducing body fat and belly fat than aerobic exercise alone. Resistance training may also help preserve fat-free mass, which can increase the number of calories your body burns at rest. According to one review, 10 weeks of resistance training could help increase calories burned at rest by 7% and may reduce fat weight by 4 pounds Doing body weight exercises, lifting weights or using gym equipment are a few easy ways to get started with strength training. 2. Take a high-protein diet. Including more protein-rich foods in your diet is an effective way to reduce your appetite and burn more fat. In fact, multiple studies have found that eating more high-quality protein is associated with a lower risk of belly fat. One study also showed that a high-protein diet can help preserve muscle mass and metabolism during weight loss. Upping your protein intake may also increase feelings of fullness, decrease appetite and reduce calorie intake to aid in weight loss. Try incorporating a few servings of high-protein foods into your diet each day to help amp up fat burning. Some examples of protein-rich foods include meat, seafood, eggs, legumes and dairy products. 3. Try to go to bed early. Going to bed a bit earlier or setting your alarm clock a little later can help boost fat burning and prevent weight gain. Several studies have found an association between getting enough sleep and weight loss. One study of 68,183 women showed that those who slept five or fewer hours per night over a period of 16 years were more likely to gain weight than those who slept for longer than seven hours per night. Another study showed that better sleep quality and getting at least seven hours of sleep per night increased the likelihood of successful weight loss by 33% in 245 women enrolled in a six-month weight loss program. 3. Squeeze in more sleep Going to bed a bit earlier or setting your alarm clock a little later can help boost fat burning and prevent weight gain. Several studies have found an association between getting enough sleep and weight loss. One study of 68,183 women showed that those who slept five or fewer hours per night over a period of 16 years were more likely to gain weight than those who slept for longer than seven hours per night. Another study showed that better sleep quality and getting at least 7 hours of sleep per night increased the likelihood of successful weight loss by 33% in 245 women enrolled in a 6-month weight loss program. 4. Try to add vinegar to your diet. Vinegar is well known for its health-promoting properties. In addition to its potential effects on heart health and blood sugar control, increasing your intake of vinegar may help bump up fat burning, according to some research. One study found that consuming 1 to 2 tablespoons, 15 to 30 milliliters of vinegar daily reduced people's body weight, belly fat and average waist circumference over a 12-week period. Consuming vinegar has also been shown to enhance feelings of fullness and reduce appetite. Another small study of 11 people showed that adding vinegar to the diet reduced daily calorie intake by up to 275 calories. It's easy to incorporate vinegar into your diet. For example, many people dilute apple cider vinegar with water and drink it as a beverage a few times per day with meals. However, if drinking vinegar straight doesn't sound appealing, you can also use it to make dressings, sauces and marinades. 5. Eat more healthy fats. Although it may seem counterintuitive, increasing your intake of healthy fats may actually help prevent weight gain and help you maintain feelings of fullness. Fat takes a while to digest and can help slow the emptying of the stomach, which can reduce appetite and hunger. One study found that following a Mediterranean diet rich in healthy fats from olive oil and nuts was associated with a lower risk of weight gain compared to a low-fat diet. 
Another small study found that when people on a weight loss diet took two tablespoons 30 milliliters of coconut oil daily, they lost more belly fat than those who were given soybean oil. Meanwhile, unhealthy types of fat like trans fats have been shown to increase body fat, waist circumference and belly fat in human and animal studies. Olive oil, coconut oil, avocados, nuts and seeds are just a few examples of healthy types of fat that may have beneficial effects on fat burning. 6. Drink healthier beverages. Swapping out sugar-sweetened drinks for some healthier selections is one of the easiest ways to increase fat burning. For example, sugar-sweetened beverages like soda and juice are packed with calories and offer little nutritional value. Alcohol is also high in calories and has the added effect of lowering your inhibitions, making you more likely to overeat. Studies have found that consuming both sugar-sweetened beverages and alcohol is associated with a higher risk of belly fat. Limiting your intake of these beverages can help reduce your calorie intake and keep your waistline in check. Green tea is another great option. It contains caffeine and is rich in antioxidants, both of which may help increase fat burning and enhance metabolism. 7. Eat fiber foods. Soluble fiber absorbs water and moves through the digestive tract slowly, helping you feel fuller for longer. According to some studies, increasing your intake of high-fiber foods may protect against weight gain and fat accumulation. One study of 1,114 adults found that for each 10-gram increase in soluble fiber intake per day, participants lost 3.7% of their belly fat over a five-year period, even without any other changes in diet or exercise. Another review also found that increasing fiber intake promoted feelings of fullness and decreased hunger. In fact, an increase of 14 grams of fiber per day was associated with a 10% decrease in calorie intake. Not only that, but it was also linked to nearly 4.4 pounds 2 kilograms of weight loss over a four-month period. Fruits, vegetables, legumes, whole grains, nuts and seeds are a few examples of high-fiber foods that can boost fat burning and weight loss. 8. Increase your exercise to improve your cardio. Cardio, also known as aerobic exercise, is one of the most common forms of exercise and is defined as any type of exercise that specifically trains the heart and lungs. Adding cardio to your routine may be one of the most effective ways to enhance fat burning. For example, one review of 16 studies found that the more aerobic exercise people got, the more belly fat they lost. Other studies have found that aerobic exercise can increase muscle mass and decrease belly fat, waist circumference and body fat. Most research recommends between 150 to 300 minutes of moderate to vigorous exercise weekly, or roughly 20 to 40 minutes of cardio each day, 41 trusted source. Running, walking, cycling and swimming are just a few examples of some cardio exercises that can help burn fat and kickstart weight loss. 9. Increase your iron intake. Iron is an important mineral that has many vital functions in the body. As with other nutrients such as iodine, a deficiency in iron may impact the health of your thyroid gland. This small gland in your neck secretes hormones that regulate your metabolism. Multiple studies have found that low levels of iron in the body may be associated with impaired thyroid function and a disruption in the production of thyroid hormones. Common symptoms of hypothyroidism, or decreased thyroid function, include weakness, fatigue, shortness of breath and weight gain. Similarly, a deficiency in iron can cause symptoms like fatigue, dizziness, headaches and shortness of breath. Treating iron deficiency can allow your metabolism to work more efficiently and can fight off fatigue to help increase your activity level. One study even found that when 21 women were treated for iron deficiency, they experienced reductions in body weight, waist circumference and body mass index. Unfortunately, many people don't get enough iron in their diets. Women, infants, children, vegans and vegetarians are all at a higher risk of iron deficiency. Be sure to incorporate plenty of iron-rich foods in your diet to help meet your iron needs and maintain your metabolism and energy levels. You can find iron in meat, poultry, seafood, fortified grains and cereals, leafy green vegetables, dried fruits and beans. 10. Cut down on refined carbs. Decreasing your intake of refined carbohydrates may help you lose extra fat. During processing, refined grains are stripped of their bran and germ, resulting in a final product that's low in fiber and nutrients. Refined carbs also tend to have a higher glycemic index, which can cause spikes and crashes in blood sugar levels, resulting in increased hunger. Studies show that a diet high in refined carbs may be associated with increased belly fat source. 
Conversely, a diet high in whole grains has been associated with a lower body mass index and body weight, plus a smaller waist circumference. One study in 2,834 people also showed that those with higher intakes of refined grains tended to have a higher amount of disease-promoting belly fat, while those who ate more whole grains tended to have a lower amount.